Nothing like free packaging material. <laughs> Wee! Did you have fun? Do it again. Hey everyone, so I am just taking a minute before I go into the gym to just say hi and try to catch up with you just a little bit. But um, yeah, I hope everyone has had a great New Year's, great holidays. December was a little rough for us. Um, we were sick like the entire time. Like my husband got sick twice. Um, the kids got sick twice. Actually, I got sick twice. The only person that didn't get sick twice was Carter. We had the flu hit us right after Christmas and poor Ryan is the first time she has ever like thrown up, like seriously thrown up in her life. And that little girl, she was such a champ but I was up all night with her, and then my husband had it, I had it. My mother-in-law who came and hung out with us to help take care of the kids because my husband and I had it at the same time. Uh, she ended up getting it like two days later, but Carter, somehow, he did not get it. Everyone is now healthy and it's already January 7th. It's crazy, I know, vlogging has been on a complete low for me. I've actually taken footage, I just have not been able to have the time to actually upload it. Did any of you guys make New Year's resolutions? If you did, leave them below. I don't do resolutions really. I kind of just do goals and just, I don't know. Resolutions, everybody starts a resolution on January 1st. January 1st, I was laying down relaxing the whole day. So I don't really do resolutions anymore. I used to. I am going back to the gym, but it wasn't like a New Year's resolution thing. I just, I have my moments when life gets busy. I kind of push things that aren't really on my priority list to the side and I knew middle of December that I was going to be coming back as soon as possible and it just happened to be the first of the year. I also started being a little bit more creative. I used to love to draw and doodle and color and just you know be kind of artsy fartsy and I haven't done it in such a long time but I was watching um, Ellie and Jared. I love that family and Ellie is starting to bullet journal and she had has been talking about it for a while now and then I think she got her and our sister some supplies to start it. Well, I didn't really know what bullet journaling was so I decided to Google it and I was addicted, so addicted. And so I have started bullet journaling which is so fun. It's kind of just a stress reliever for me and it also helps me to kind of make sure I get things done throughout the day and it just keeps me motivated and so I, I do love it. Um, it wasn't something that I was planning on doing but uh, once I seen it I was like that's that's me. I need to start doing that and now I'm addicted and I color in it every day. I draw in it. I have been making planners, making trackers, everything. So it's a lot of fun. If you haven't heard of it, definitely YouTube bullet journaling and just watch some of the videos. It's crazy. So many people are so creative. And one day I hope to be as creative, but right now I'm kind of going on Pinterest and finding out what looks cool and what might work for my planner and I'm giving it a try and the best thing about bullet journaling is if it doesn't work that week for you then guess what next week you could change it or if it doesn't work for that month then next month you can change it you could change it anytime honestly um, but it's it's really cool because I've never found a planner that really works for me I always find planners that have cool stuff in it but I don't utilize everything and this gives you an opportunity to figure out what actually works for you and that way you're not wasting space and using things and also spending like 70 bucks on a cool planner. I love Erin Condren planners guys and those are expensive. I actually got my last planner from Target and I think it was still $15 but it still has things in it that I don't use on a daily and then of course it doesn't have things that I wish it did have so bullet journaling I think is going to be my new hobby anyway enough stalling I've got to get in here and get this workout done it's Sunday Ryan is down for a nap and my husband is just hanging out with her Carter is actually with my parents he spent the weekend with my parents because a, he hasn't spent the weekend with him in a while, and then B, we've been having a little bit of an issue with Ryan. She has become a total diva, and I thought that the kids had hit their terrible two stage already, and we were going through it, but no, like, 
this is all legit the terrible two stage for her and we have been working with her and so this weekend we just had one-on-one -on -one time with her and i think it's helped a lot and just trying to get her to use her words a lot more because she's been throwing some temper tantrums and i don't mind temper tantrums but when they are like legit crazy temper tantrums then that's kind of pushing the limit with me and i really decided okay now we need to step back work with her teach her how to use her words and so this weekend she's been doing a lot better um so i think the one-on-one -on -one time has actually helped but let's get in here and get this workout done look who i have say hi are you ready to go see ryan stuck. you're stuck well i can get you out you want me to get you out so we can go inside? Junk. You're stuck. Mm -hmm. Are you excited to see your sister? There you go bye bye. No, she's in the house. She didn't go bye bye. There you go bye bye. You wanna go see her? I wanna go bye bye. You wanna go bye bye again? Mm -hmm. Or do you wanna go see Ryan? I wanna go bye bye again. You wanna go bye bye again? Mm -hmm. But don't you wanna see Ryan and see Daddy? I wanna go bye bye. You wanna go bye bye? Well, he changed his tune because as soon as I walked into my parents' house, I went to give him a hug and kiss, and the first thing out of his mouth was, where is Ryan? So I think he's gonna be excited to see her. I know she's gonna be excited to see him. She actually woke up yesterday crying, saying, where's my Carter, where's my Carter? We had to explain that he was staying with Nana and Papa. Are you intimidated by this thing? <laughs> I'm intimidated by it. All right. Watch your finger. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me make sure it's off first. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> this, this is kind of scary. <laughs> you can take the lid off. I took it off last time. Whoa. Now that's much more done. Is it? Mm, that does look oh it fogged up the lens <laughs> <laughs> so we've been trying to cook this um what is it pork, pork carnitas pork carnitas and um trying the instapot out for the first time it's a little intimidating and we cooked it for 45 minutes at first but it wasn't quite done so we added 10 more minutes and now it's perfect it probably would have done it in 45 minutes, but uh, the meat wasn't what thawed out. out. Yeah, it wasn't fully thawed out. So now we have to cook the rice. I think that's the only thing about this that I'm kind of like, eh, because you cook like the main part in this, but then you got to cook everything else separate. Um, but I want to try the rice in here, so we're going to go ahead and give that a try too. I'm going to come get you. Let me see your butt. You're making me dizzy. Stop! You're making me dizzy. Make mama dizzy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here it come. Are you going to try it? Let me see. Will you try it? Will you take another no, bite for me? Right okay. Take another bite. Oh, you're just eating the tomatoes, you silly boy. Hey, you know what? That's fine. I don't eat tomatoes. I hate them. I don't mind. I found, I found Do you like it? A book in Kroger down there. It's got all the super. Is it good? No, you don't like it? Oh man. Okay, Ryan, is it better now that you have ranch on it? Yeah. Ranch makes everything better. Do it again. Oh, that's okay. Pick it with your fingers. Good job. Thank you for trying it. Open face taco. Fancy. Is it good? Yeah, I like it. Is that big enough? <laughs> oh, party foul. 
Oh. You're being silly now. What do you want, Carter? Ketchup? Uh-huh. For your jello? Uh-huh. That's gross. Ketchup. You want some ketchup in your jello? Uh Ew. I think you get that from your dad. Oh, it's cold out there. Carter, can you see? Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> I washed all of their bedding and you never know what you find underneath their beds. Hi kitty. Are you hiding? Are you hiding down there? How did you fit underneath there? What is it? A kitty. Is the kitty? I think she's hiding from you guys. Hey there everyone. So the kids are still out playing. It's almost bedtime but um, they're being kind of loud so I came into the bedroom to end the vlog, it's been a good day. We enjoyed um, the meal that we cooked in the Instapot. It worked really well. Again, the only thing that I would say I didn't like is if you're cooking like separate things, then you really can only cook one thing in the Instapot and then you would cook the sides or whatever separate. But I'm kind of excited to maybe try a chili recipe this week. And of course, with the chili recipe, everything goes in the Instapot and it just cooks and is ready in no time so we'll see how that works but what we cooked tonight was great i'm trying my best to get back into vlogging more and uploading more so thank you again for all my new subscribers and even the ones that have been around for a while now thank you so much for continuing to support me i hope everyone has had a great day we have definitely had a great day and we will see you in our next video bye guys mm -hmm.